we've already looked into the best that 2017 had to offer. Now let's have a look at the games that disappointed us the most. This is Twisted Bard Gaming's 7 Most Disappointing Games of 2017. Following the breakout success of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, the sequel was not a game that should have ended up on this list. Things started to go downhill for Shadow of War long before it even came out, when it was discovered that it would have loot boxes. It could be argued that this criticism was unjustified, as Monolith assured fans it wouldn't affect the game. Except, they built a part of the game that seemingly encouraged you to buy them. In Chapter 4, players are tasked with capturing and holding all the fortresses in the game against stronger and stronger orcs. Now, you can grind for hours and hours, or spend real money to get through it quicker. Oh, and your reward for finishing the chapter? The game's true ending, which means a 3 minute cutscene. Prey isn't a bad game by any stretch of the imagination, it's just a little bland. For Arcane Studios, the developers behind the Dishonored franchise, this is really surprising, as those games are so well thought through and have so much variety. In Prey, all the aliens you come up against are pretty similar, and nothing about the game feels as fluid as Dishonored. It also it doesn't help that Prey ruined its best surprise that you're already on a spaceship, before it even came out in their pre-release marketing. And while the story is interesting, the whole thing is just a sort of meh. Oh ukulele, you had so much promise. The thought of being transported back in time on a wave of nostalgia to play a spiritual HD successor to Banjo-Kazooie made by some of the minds behind the lovable N64 game was so exciting. Sadly, however, it turned out to be a bit too exciting, with the game really not living up to those lofty expectations. It's hard to blame the developers for this as, if anything, ukulele was too much like the Banjo games of old, which is exactly what we thought we wanted in the first place. If you're looking for that 3D platformer buzz, we recommend you look at A Hat in Time, which in our opinion is a superior game. <laughs> Mass Effect is a series that certainly made its stamp on the gaming industry through the years, with the original trilogy being a well-woven space romp with a great story, unforgettable characters, and a very sexually active protagonist in Commander Shepard. Mass Effect landed on our laps in an unpolished and unfinished state. And although not a terrible game by any means, Andromeda seems to miss all of the positive aspects from the original series, and instead gives the player endless busy work, with no real interesting payoff. Biowares and EA sites now firmly set on Anthem, it looks like we might not be seeing the return of the Mass Effect series for a very long time. This is resonating now, probably with the vault. For Honor had the potential to be something great, something unique in the competitive multiplayer space. Unfortunately, Ubisoft saw the dollar sign and decided not to give their players any content for the price of entry into this. On paper, exciting new IP. For Honor turned out to be an unbalanced, unsatisfying and just a bland experience that seemed to repeat Ubisoft's ongoing trend of losing their player bases really quickly. Perhaps learn from your mistakes Ubisoft, you're going a bit EA. When Disney got its dirty corporate paws on Lucasfilms, we feared that Star Wars would become a money-grabbing franchise, but it took EA to cause gamers and Star Wars fans alike to rise up and shout, you jar jar it. And now the game itself is actually pretty good. It certainly feels and sounds exactly like you want. It plays well and the space battles are absolutely stunning. However, the core progression is tied into the game's use of loot boxes, giving players clear gameplay advantages brought EA under fire before the game was even released, garnering so much negative publicity that EA have temporarily suspended its monetization on the game and put true fear into the other publishers that this loot box gravy train might finally be over. Up 
bombers have completed their attack run. Alright, our most disappointing game of 2017 isn't actually a game, but it's the reason that a number of games on this list disappointed us. Loot boxes. That's right, we at Twisted Bug Gaming are brave enough to stand up against the corporations and completely break the structure of our list videos to call out this terrible blight on the industry. Shadow of War, For Honor, Battlefront 2, NBA 2K17, Need for Speed, Forza Motorsport 7, Destiny 2, Mass Effect Andromeda and many more were built around the premise of giving the players option to grind or to pay to progress, and that just ain't buttering any crumpets, son. What's wrong with making a good game and creating extra content for the players to buy because they want more of it? I'm sure one of these talented developers can figure out a way to monetize their game without predatory tactics or ruining the base experience. Gamers have spoken with their words and their wallets, so hopefully we don't have to deal with this in 2018. EA, this is just... shit. That was Twisted Bar Gaming's 7 most disappointing games of 2017. What games let you down the most last year? Let us know in the comments below and check out our channel on youtube.com slash twistedbargaming and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this.